want to keep using that. <laughs> At least for the time being, I'm going to keep using that. Hello, VOD channel viewers. I appreciate you all. Although I think I, the notification went out quick again. Look at it go. Not a lot of exclusivity. That's why I got to keep that secret intro. That's actually not all that secret. I got to keep it short. <clears throat> Happy New Year. It's 2023. Gosh, we're... In another one of those years where, in television shows 20 years ago, we're supposed to have, like, flying cars and shit. But hello, everybody. How are you? I told you I'd be able to stream more. Right? We're doing okay. Yeah, year, year. New year. It is new year. It is it is a uh, bigger number, better uh, year, better people. That's how it goes, right? Hello, everybody. How are you all? We're doing the exact same thing today that we did on the last stream. If you remember what we did last stream, we're taking our friend Bud. We are running through the Skyrim door randomizer, the world randomizer. And we're trying to collect as much alcohol as possible. It's kind of turning into a pacifist run in a weird way. Sawman, thank you very much. How are you, Sawman? Trey, I'm not over turkey stick either. I'm I'm having a tough time with it. Turkey stick was a devastating loss for all of us. And I'm genuinely I honestly <clears throat> I am really sad and and I'm I'm sorry that I blew it because I did. Turkey stick came down to user error, skill issue, and I just blew it. Sonny, the VOD for the first one of this was supposed to drop today, but I went to go check my YouTube studio today and the HD version was stuck on processing. So probably tomorrow, because I had to try and re-upload it. I think whenever I export my VODs to the second channel on Opera GX, like if I use the Opera browser, it doesn't work. But if I use Google Chrome, it seems to be working better. Michelle, thank you for the tier one. Turkey stick got ratioed. That's actually how turkey stick died. Let me just make sure we are, in fact, recording. We are recording. That's very good. <clears throat> Put use for your premium. That's why I ended up getting YouTube premium at first, because I was watching really long videos and just long content. Oh how can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zarabar. Sly Panda, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You, again, are very, very kind. Should I wear my hood up? I feel, I feel really cozy wearing my hood over my headphones. Plus, now it looks like I'm not wearing headphones. <clears throat> I know, I know, Turkey Turkey Stick, he didn't, you know, he got vibe checked one too many times, and that's what led to the end of Turkey Stick. It was over for him at that point. I do, I look real cash money. It's really comfy. I love this hoodie. My, my parents, for Christmas, they got myself, my brother, and my sister matching hoodies, and it just says, Aurora, Illinois. That's where we all grew up. It's about an hour west of Chicago. Population of roughly a quarter million. So it's not a small town, but it's not a city. Really awesome place. I miss it dearly. And incredible Mexican food. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how much I loved Mexican food until I moved to a place where they just can't really get Mexican food right. There's a couple of places in, there's like one or two places in the town that I live in now that I've had that have been really good. And I almost cried. I almost cried. It was so good. And I knew it was going to be really good because when we walked into the, uh, the Mexican restaurant, it was at first actually a Mexican grocery store. And then the restaurant was kind of in this side room right next to it. And I just knew as we're walking in there, I was like, oh, this place is going to be really good. And it was... <clears throat> 
Oh my gosh, it was so good. Fun fact about me, um, I believe of the regional food groups, right? Um, if we're talking about like the most popular ones, like Italian or uh, or uh, Chinese food or or Mexican food, et cetera, et cetera. Mexican food, I don't even think it's a competition. Is the best. <laughs> so good, so good. Uh, anyway. Let's start our random generation. I picked a random seed today. 999-541. We're going to try and beat our high score of last time. Exclamation point rules. If you're curious on sort of the basic rules we're playing with, exclamation point 7 TV. If you want to use any of the 7 TV emotes in chat, because they're cool. And I need to be a professional streamer and use 7 TV emotes, because it's part of the thing. Hey, pizza is good. Pizza is good. I'll give you that, but I would eliminate pizza food if it meant saving Mexican food. Did I say pizza food? Y'all know what I mean. That's just me, though. I would, I would understand if somebody said, no, I can't get rid of pizza. I would understand. I think you're wrong, but it's valid. It's valid. Matty Seed 000600, that was crashing for you? Uh, so I, I mentioned, uh, I talked with DDM earlier. <laughs> Wise Otter, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Um, I talked to DDM earlier today, and I think he gave me the first official patch for this mod. I'm still playing on the older version, but when we do this video, I'll probably mention that the mod has been updated. I want to say that the patch covers all vanilla doors and a couple of bug issues. DDM really right now wants to focus on the bug reports of kind of the early adopters of the mod, the people Thank that have played with it. Sir. And then Hello. what's the challenge? I'll get there, DB. And then sort of expanding. Also, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate it. Uh, expanding the mod to the DLC. Once it's expanded to the DLC locations, then we'll be able to port it over to Xbox. The biggest request by far has been porting the mod over to Xbox, which I'm a big advocate of. I would love if this was on Xbox and we could get console players sort of involved. <clears throat> so let me say, let me give you guys a brief rundown of the challenge. So we're combining the door randomizer we're also combining it with the Outdoor Kills mod. If you guys remember that challenge, can you play Skyrim without staying outside? We're combining the two mods so that our randomized dungeon crawling experience forces us indoors. <clears throat> Basically like that. Happy New Year's to the nth best Fallout content creator. Kate is waifu. Wolfdorf, Happy New Year's to you. <clears throat> I don't know where I land on that list. I'd like to think I'm pretty okay. Why? Hey, you know what? I, I think I look cool. This is new age, all right? Wearing the hood over your headphones, I'm, I'm, I'm an early adopter, all right? This is the, I, I'm the Kickstarter campaign for this look, okay? Maybe it pops off, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it turns into Star Citizen and I make $200 million off of this look and do nothing with it. Hmm? You ever think about that? Sun facts, hello. Howdy. <clears throat> for the low key for next Soul's time, you can cheese the boss at the end of Turkey Stick's dungeon by lowering the gate and summoning on the other side and shooting through the gates. Sunny, there's been a few people who have suggested that they just suggested different ways that I could have gone through that boss fight, and every single one of them is right. I've, I've looked through them all, and all it comes down to is me looking at the boss, getting greedy, trying to deal stealth damage to the boss early, but when the two extra archers came in, you, and it was a 3v2, it changed the whole thing. Truly a Sunday New Year's Day mood. <laughs> it is, Lizard. That's the point. I'm, I'm comfy with it. We're hanging out. Anyway, we should have... The doors should be somewhat randomized, but this is the run. This is going to be the best run we have. We're going to get 
I want to get 500 points on this run, but mods, if there's any mods that can put out a, gam a gamba, is that how I say it? A gamba? A prediction? Let's, let's set the over under to 99 and a half points. If I can get to 100 points, then the supporters will score. So the way we actually will handle scoring for this stupid challenge is I have to collect alcohol. Each individual alcohol that I collect is one point. In order to score and officially lock that point in to my total, I have to drop off the alcohol at an inn in game, like the B and Barb, or whatever the one in White Run is called. You know, so on and so forth. As long as it's a pub or a tavern or a hotel, motel, whatever you want to call it, that is where our drop-off location is to score points. We can get bonus points if we if we turn in a large group of alcohol. The best run we've had, we turned in 100 bottles of booze. And we got 175 points. That's the best run we've had. Wolfie, thank you for the prime. <clears throat> also, sorry, I got <clears throat> all kinds of shit in my throat and whatnot. I should have done a uh, I should have done a neti pot before stream. All right, let's roll. This is Bud, by the way, not necessarily an alcoholic, but one who can handle his liquor. And in a world where every door has been randomized and nobody can find their way to the pub, that means the pub can't find their suppliers. So it is up to Bud. To, oh God, we're already outside. Wait, no, 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 we can't start this way. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, all right, we gotta go back indoors. Okay, great, we're starting outside immediately. We have about 30 seconds before we die. So if I can't find a door within 30 seconds, then this run is already dead. Hopefully we didn't start a prediction. This is Bud, last name, uh, Light? Okay. All right. I should be able to work my way out of this, but I'm already running out of time. Oh, this is not good. DDM! DDM, help! <laughs> DDM, save me! I'm cheating. I've been cheated. So I shall cheat back. Oh, damn it. We're already going to have to restart. 23 seconds reach. Mr. Fox, help me. <laughs> Let me grab your tail. Lead me to safety. <laughs> Go. No. No, no, no. Oh, what are you doing? Don't act like you care now. Stop it. Don't try to console me. Oh, shit. All right. Well, uh, I think that might have been the worst run we've had. Great job, everyone. Really good effort by everyone involved. It's all right. We're, we're the mod. I'm still playing on the beta version of the mod. Okay, eight five zero one one one. We just have to sit here for a little bit and and hang out. We'll figure this out. I think this is Turkey Stick taking revenge on all of my playthroughs. He's like, you know what? If I can't survive, then no one can. We got this. We can handle this. Uh, now, if you're wondering more about Bud, uh, Mr. Light, he's an environmental specialist. And I don't mean environmental like uh, save the trees and stuff like that. I mean environmental in the way that he likes to use the environment to eliminate his enemies. If there's a loose pile of rocks, he'll try and get them to walk into it. If there's a trap that hasn't been activated, he's going to try and make the enemy step into that trap. He's a very passive individual. Individual. <clears throat> Do we have a specific amount of points we're trying to reach? My goal, I really want to reach 500. I want to reach 500 points. I don't know if we'll ever be able to, but we'll have to see. Will there be a death counter for this we're on? Uh, no, we haven't, we haven't been dying enough to where a death counter is really needed. If you're wondering what chat means every time they say beef spatula, they're trying to make up some imaginary lore for Turkey Stick's son. It's, it's not happening. It's not canon. 
Alright, that should be a long enough wait before we can get going. Although sometimes we've started it and some of the doors haven't been randomized yet, which is kind of a bummer early on. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm going with 35 seconds. We're going with 35. That's what it was when we did that initial challenge. But as long as this one is two and then blank, we can start the run. I just want to make sure it's not... You know, a place where I, I go through the door, we teleport somewhere, and then three or four of the doors immediately around us aren't randomized. That's a bummer when that happens. Turkey Stick's hanging out in Sabengard. The Nords accepted him. They were like, you know what? All right. You went down, you fought a warrior's death. Because he's not a stealth archer. And neither is... Bud right here. If you're wondering what I'm drinking, this is a nitro cold brew from my local gas station. It's very good. Ooh, and it's very strong too, because... All right, let's do this. Thank you, kind sir. Sir Squilly, thank you for the prime. All right. I'm going to, you know what? I'm, I'm also going to die of uh, hangover, <laughs> hangover migraine with the sun searing into my skull. So let me just, you know, let, let's just pick some flowers before we die. And then, no, not Bella. See, it's got to be randomized. It's not randomized yet. I feel like I'm cheating the system. Let me out of here. All right, this one's randomized. We'll start here. Now, this should be a pub, but it's not. Fort Green. Uh, we're still outside. That's not good. I have to get back indoors. I'm probably already running out of time. So let's get back. Get back inside the cave. Make sure our time resets. All right, we're still alive. We're hanging out. Not too bad. Let me get my hotkeys set up, or my quick items. If you guys remember from last time, Battle Cry, a, an ability I have never used when playing this game, has saved us probably three or four times now. So it's a pretty important part of this build. If you've ever been shouted at by a drunk person on the street, then you'll know. I know I'm naked. I'm looking for clothes. Open door. Open door. inside oh no it's not a pub it's just the oh it's the uh, it's the enclave again whatever they're called the suffering the daedra cause will not go unpunished you're right ma'am we can't let them continue their savagery but do you guys have alcohol or are they dry here i can see the vigilance of stendar being dry <gasps> never mind they like to party down okay so there's two doors here one's gonna take us back to white run I can probably get away with just stealing everything from them. But they are armed with magic. And maces. I'd prefer not to get thwapped by one. So we'll just start with some basic booze. Whatever booze we can steal. We just gotta throw it into this room and we'll be alright. Excuse me? Now, does y'all's religion prophesize a naked drunk coming to steal all your liquor? If not, uh, you might want to rewrite your scripture. Excuse me. There we are. Walk always in the light. Actually, a decent little score right away. I mean, it's not officially a score because we haven't delivered it, so we don't get points. I'm doing this to save the world. The world needs dive bars, all right? Whether you like it or not, they're superior to nightclubs in every way. Support your local dive bar if you have one. That'll, that'll be my charity in 2024, supporting local dive bars. Walk always in the light. Yeah, that's how you know these people have never been hungover. What about... You know what? Never mind. I just need to get out of here. These people are freaking me out. 
suffering the Daedra cause will not what go unpunished. Maybe if you and the Daedra just hash things out. I don't know. Smoke a piece pipe. Right? Hang out around the fire, share some stories. The mercy of I think a lot of the issues in Elder Scrolls could have been solved with a nice friendly joint. Excuse me. The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. What are you doing that for? I love how mad they are, or at least they sound mad at me, but then they just ignore me. What the hell are you doing that for? Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, that's right, uh, Stendar, the Daedra. Stendar's mercy be upon you for the <laughs> Actually, maybe they do understand what I'm doing here. They're just trying to encourage me to come towards the light. Stay away from the dark activities you indulge in. Yes, that Dan. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to everybody. I felt so left out yesterday at 6 p.m. Because I checked Twitter, and all my friends that are in uh, Europe, they were all celebrating being in the New Year. And I just felt so... I felt so out of the loop. Sneak increased. Okay, hear me out. For this build, sneak is very important. If I want to break my record, then we have to have some patience here. We have to at least work for it. Right? In some way, we have to become a little bit more combat viable. If not combat viable, sneak viable. You know, we have to avoid combat. It's not about getting kills. It's about getting alcohol. It's about delivering it. We have to be an effective courier. In order to be an effective courier, we have to remain hidden. Because there's a lot of dangerous places with a lot of good alcohol that we don't necessarily need to kill our way through to get. Ooh, another? Okay, they've got a basement door. All right, it's not a teleport. Sneaking around in the basement of hello, ma'am. How are you? Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Sure thing. Let me just read your material. Actually, I can. Can I steal that? No. How do you keep all the booze upstairs? I'm starting to really learn a lot about booze storage in in Skyrim. There's a real consistent theme. They don't like to hide it in the basement. They like to put it smack dab up front, right in the main entrance. Walk always All right, so this door is going to go back to Whiterun, correct? Yes, it will. This is a weird, like, two-door setup. So let's take this through. Let's just at least see where we end up if we go through here. No, it's just a regular door. But there's alcohol in here. Score. Wine, wine. What's the difference between wine and alto wine? Strong box is empty. Expert, I need to get some lock picks too. All right. Catch you later, freaks. Oh, it's raining. Thank God the sun's not beating down on me. Should be able to just keep clearing out different places. Oh, we love a residential house. Especially with no one here. No eyes on us. This is like in real life. I can just walk around naked. No one can judge me. Whose house are we in? Who are we robbing? Thonir? Oh, I'm sorry, Thonir. I feel bad, though. He's going to get home from a long day of logging. Just chopping wood all day. Or maybe he's a bard. And to not have his favorite bottle of mead by his bedside? Devastating. Poor Thonir. I bet Thonir is one of those characters who you don't expect to have a whole wiki page about him, but there is. Whoa. Are they friendly? Whistling mine? There's no way they're friendly, right? They're friendly? Thorgar says we'll find rocks soon. The kind worth gold. Thorgar? I mean, I guess... I guess you guys are my new friends. Look at I mean, a camp in the middle of a cold mine. They have to be coping with something. Be careful where you step in the mine. Don't want to cover up some valuable ore or gems or... or something. All right, Thorgar, you seem to be the man in charge here. Mining is hard work, but we pay a fair price for any ore you dig up. The mine will be the talk of Skyrim soon. You'll see. It's a 
We were supposed to be rich by now, you know. Thorgar insisted we'd be swimming in gold. Ah, so you have problems with the foreman, huh? Don't like how he runs this place? I'm the best at breaking up rocks. Thorgar says so. <laughs> That's how I wake up every morning. You have to wake up envisioning greatness within yourself. I'm the best at breaking up rocks. Nobody else here can break up rocks like me. Thank you, kind sir. That damn Thorgar. For the the? Four for the. Oh, four for the. Thank you, Kosher. I appreciate it. Sorrel, thank you for coming by. Thanks for watching the VOD channel. Also, sorry, chat. Sometimes it's. Sometimes I have a really tough time both reading chat and responding to NPCs like I'm actually in the game world. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to take the basket! It was a joke! Here, have it back. What was that? Don't, we're not at, we're not fighting about this. Guys, 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 please. It's literally a basket. Oh my god, he's not gonna accept my yield. Gunding, help me! Or is that Thor- are you, Thorgar? You're the foreman of this operation, can't you stop him? Hey. We're not doing this. Please, run. Oh god, it's a dead end everywhere I look. <gasps> loose rocks! If I can kill him with the loose rocks, then it won't count as me killing him. Can I pick them up? No, I didn't mean to hit you. All right, it's it's a mine. There has to be loose rock somewhere that can kill him. I can't be the one to do it though. Oh, damn it, another dead end. R relax. You. Know. That made it worse. You're supposed to run away, not, not be encouraged to murder me. All right, fine. Have your camp back. Also, you're not the best at breaking up rocks. You never were. Thorgar hates you. Whew. Okay, all right, we're alive. That was a disaster. But I have my health. And that's really all that matters. I think we're in Blackreach. Yeah, all the blue on the walls tells me we're in Blackreach. But a good amount of survival potions, things that can kind of keep us alive. A Falmer bow for not archery. If we combine it with our not stealth, I think we can see a lot of success. Damn it, another locked chest. Still no lockpick yet. Lots of cups and things to drink alcohol out of, but no alcohol itself. Two locked chests. Worth coming back here if I find a lockpick. Why doesn't outside- Outside kills me if I spend more than 35 seconds outside. So I have a 35 second countdown. Here we go, another residential score. Is this the run? I think it could be. But again, light on the alcohol here. Battleborn Farm. Of course the Battleborns aren't interested in hosting a good party. I don't really know enough about the family history to make that judgment on them, but... I can only go off of the information in front of me. Got a coin purse. Not a whole lot else, though. I do like the coin purses, though. Being able to spend gold right away is important. All right, so not a whole lot there. Maybe two points. I think I've been in here before, and I want to say that there's going to be an ice wolf right around the corner here. God, I'm so good. I'm getting really good at this mod. But what I need to do before fighting these wolves, because I'm not going to be able to kill them. Ice wolves are too powerful for me. So I'm going to leave real quick. We're going to run back to the vigilance of Stendar house. <clears throat> if we get back to Stendar, these weirdos, then we can wait for 24 hours. We'll get our battle cry ability back. Because if we have battle cry, we should be able to scream really loudly at these wolves and they'll run away. Isn't that how you're supposed to fight off a bear? Like if a bear starts attacking you, aren't you supposed to get yourself really big and be like, <gasps> <gasps> and it runs away? 
Or is that a different animal? I want to get to that chest in the corner, though. Sneak is very effective right now. I think I was only able to scream at one ice wolf to get it r running away. Yeah, this one's still going to attack me. Let's try and be fast. Barla stone, gold, war axe of fatigue. Very good. Now let's run around. Ooh, put the spin cycle on the ice wolf. Okay, all right, one hits too many. Go, 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 go. Back to town. There's nothing wrong with finding legitimate gold. It's not booze, but at least it puts us forward a little bit. Maybe some other time I, will be your destiny. I know my destiny, Olava. I don't need to hear it from you. Thank you, kind sir. Gasoline, thank you for the tier one. How are you? Happy New Year's. This is the exact same layout of a house we were just in, but it's not the same house. So I don't expect there to be a ton of booze here. We got some. One round. Two. Three. Thank you, kind sir. Four. Talcran, appreciate it. Thank you for four months. Happy New Year. Pelagia Farm. Where, where is Pelagia Farm again? I always forgot. Oh, sneaking boots. I forgot about my boots. No, I don't need a shield. Shields are for cowards. I just need my boots. What do we have? Yeah, pretty light here. I'll take whatever points I can get. Or not quite points yet. How about iron boots? Let's give myself some armor. Actually, no. It's just going to make sneaking more difficult. So I need to make sure that I can keep myself hidden. It's an important part of not dying. Sorry, pup, but I'm not quite in the mood. Okay, first off, she assumed that I was there to learn about my destiny. I wasn't. And then she scolded me for not having enough time to tell me about the destiny that I didn't even ask her about. I don't like her. All right, dangerous, scary cave. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Pine Peak Cavern. It's possible we're outdoors right now, so I'm going to stay by the entrance. <clears throat> there are some caves that count as outdoors, and that can get us killed. But I haven't gotten the warning. Can I wait? Oh, I can. All right, let's get Battlecry back. All right, it's a bear. That's okay. It's just one bear. There's a loot chest in the corner, though, and I want it. I also want the sneaking XP. Let's just keep him nice and quiet. How do you see me already? How do you see me already? Did that work? Oh my god, where did he go? He disappeared. Where the hell did the bear go? I <laughs> just go for the chest. Gold, potion of healing, smithing XP. He's, uh, you know what? He's blocking the entrance, so I'm just going to get out of here before he goes hostile again. Excuse me. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, if I waited any longer, he probably could have turned and killed me. Or said a happy new year. Thank you for watching the channel. I hope your 2023 is wonderful in all ways possible. That's a good idea. Let's let's count up how much booze we have so far. We got six ale, eight wine, 14, 15, 18, plus three, uh, is, or plus five, 23, plus nine, 32, 33. We're only up to 33, which I think if we turn that in is like 43-ish points. 48 points, maybe, for the bonus point. We got to get to 100. If we get to 100 and we're able to turn it in, we'll be at least tied with our high score. But I haven't found an inn yet that we can turn into. 
Not much there. That was another dud. <clears throat> I think I've been through most of the doors in the marketplace. It's probably not a good idea to walk around naked. Like it's probably not a good idea to share your opinions with strangers. Leave me alone. Ah, this doesn't count. This isn't exactly an inn, but it is a trader, so we can make some money. Said you got trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. So we can at least do some trade that's going to help us out. We'll get rid of uh, Varla Stone, don't need it. Shield, don't need it. Axe, don't need it. Or don't really need those. Don't need lavender or flowers. Let's just collect gold. We're up to 600. Backpack isn't a bad idea for only 243. I'm going to buy the backpack, so we'll get the extra carry weight with it. Brawler's hide bracers. Unarmed strikes do 10 additional. Oh, it's 605. I want to get those. I would love if that was my main way of uh, fighting things, just punching them. <clears throat> Bows do more damage. What kind of potions? Yeah, I'm going to buy just all the minor healing potions. They're nice in a pinch. So we'll favor those. We have eight of them saved up. Anytime. Also, does she have wine here? I bet she does upstairs. I bet you're hoarding contraband somewhere upstairs. Where is it? Hey, where is it, Cade? Answer me. Where is the alcohol? I thought adventurers were supposed to look tough. Oh, oh, this kid. Oh, this kid. Ah, oh, I see you're holding out contraband from me, Cade. What's this? Hey, hey, no, I'm scolding your son. Leave me alone. How did I get caught? No way. All right, Sama. Back off. Where's the other contraband? I know you're hiding it around here somewhere. Hey, enough. I don't want to kill you, but I will. No, I won't. It's all free. Don't you know that stealing doesn't have a price? Excuse me. Oh, we've got wine right there. I didn't get caught for that one, even though she's in the middle of a chase. Okay, we got to be quick. God damn it, Sama, just give it up. I'll kill you if I have to. Maybe I should just kill her in front of Cade to punish Cade for being a little dick. You see this, Cade? You did this. Ooh, plentiful healing. I'll take it. Oh, shut up, Cade. What do I think I'm doing? Whatever I want. Well, you did not just pull out a knife. Is Cade, Cade's not going to fight, will he? All right, I got to get out of here. I'm leaving. Shit, now I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get arrested, though, next time I go into solitude. And I only came out of there with one. I mean, we got healing potions. But we only came out with one bottle of alcohol. Another solitude store. We've been to the blacksmith before. And again, this store has a disappointing, a disappointing amount of alcohol in it. There's not a lot. I think it's just the one. All right, let's try out the companions building. This building has like eight doors on it. Ooh, scary cavern. Loud, scary noises. Don't worry. I'm well versed in dungeon diving. I know how to stay alive here. I'm an expert. Who's not wearing his backpack like he should be. Cue Indiana Jones 8 bit chiptune music. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing in here. Where are we? Nightingale. Oh, we've been in Nightingale Hall before. We got into Nightingale Hall last video. I don't think there's enemies here. I also don't think that there's booze here. Because we're able to go through. That thing will just make a lot of noise if we click it. And then do nothing. Yeah, this place, it's eerily empty here. Another locked chest. Still don't have... I still don't have lockpicks. Ah, oh, there's a skill book here, though, so I'll take it. Oh, it's a sneak book. 
I think that's all there is here. The skill book? We can't go through that gate up there. It just tells us we can't. Probably because of the quest stage. All right, fine. I'll take the salt pile. I should be looting salt piles more often. A video where I try to play a 0.1 size would be fun. It is weird when you play the game at, at such a small size. You're, the character moves so slow, but the hitbox, I think, remains the same. All right, companion saw door one of like six down. Yes, another residence. Oh, we're on fire on this run. Could this be it? Will we finally reach our goal? I think in case of emergency, I'm going to take some of this food. Last time we had a close call, if we had healing food, it probably would have saved us in an emergency. You know those emergency Skyrim heals where you really don't want to die, so you just down 18 pounds of cheese? C come on, there's got to be more here. Wine. No, nothing. Thank you, kind Nothing. Sir. Flushbang, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Happy New Year to you. How is, how is 2023 going for everyone? Is it New Year, new chat? I almost tweeted that as a joke. I almost just posted New Year, new me, and nothing else. <laughs> just, new Year, new me. I'm making changes this year, which, hey, you know what? A lot of people make fun of that, even like uh, I'm currently doing right now. But if uh, if the year turning over and, you know, bigger number is a motivator for you to improve things in your life, then so be it. Hell yeah. Go get it, kings and queens. Is there al There's alcohol outside. I forgot about the prospect of outdoor alcohol. It's much riskier. As I have a time countdown... Incredibly lost. Am I allowed in here? We come to Dawnstar at a strange time, friend. Seems everyone in the town is having nightmares. Not worried about that. They can probably avoid some nightmares, though, if they just, you know, downed all 50 bottles of wine that I have. No, don't do that. God, my this is not advice on how to cope with things. Sir, can you turn, turn around? There we go. There we go. Go back to your patrol. All right, another couple points. Evidence chest. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot more here. Just a single door. At least it's indoors. We have to be careful. If I spend a lot of time outside and the first entrance I go to is outdoors, I that's what can kill me. Any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Oh, I am not allowed here. Oh, no. I've just walked in on a party I am Melody severely not welcome to. And the orcs alone. Hello, orcs? How are you? You have no business in our stronghold, Outlander. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. Let me propose a plan to you all. <laughs> let, me, let me real quick. I hold on. Hold on. I, I, I'm a very serious adventurer with a very serious proposition. I need all of your alcohol, please. Right, like, as quick as you can. Like, just, just hand it over. Give it to me. All right, fine. You don't want me here. I'll be quick. Ooh. Ooh. A circlet of archery, eh? Not that I'll use it, but I can at least put it on because having a drinking tiara is important. Most people underestimate the ability of a drinking tiara. True nature of orcs? No. I don't need any reading material. I need drinking material. Excuse me. Toss that over there. We and a healing potion. Outlander, but we don't want you here. I know you don't want me here. I know. I'll be out of your hair soon. Trust me. Malakath Just don't turn on me. For the orcs and the orcs alone.
I don't know why I'm sneaking. I don't really have to. What are you doing that for? Honestly, if I explained it to you all, you'd probably think I'm crazier than you already do. So let's just skip the pleasantries. Let me get what <laughs> let me get done what I gotta get done and get out of your hair. You have no There's so much here. This is a really good score, actually. A couple more places like this will easily be at a hundred. Man, these people are really letting it down how much they hate me. And the orcs alone. I understand. Malakath, blah blah blah, he blesses this land. He hates me. I know. I understand. You have no business in our stronghold, Outlander. Malakath blesses this land. Oh my god, I can't. I, I got I gotta get out of here. I'm leaving. I can't listen to this anymore. Malakath blesses this land. I can only handle so much hate. Shit, I'm still spotted over here. Yeah, come back into the corner. I have to just drag it back into the darkest corner of their house. <clears throat> At least if, as long as I act like I did nothing wrong, they can't, they can't assume it was me. Well, all right. I appreciate you all welcoming me into your home so kindly and respectfully. Malachi. Blesses this land for the orcs and the, and the orcs, orcs alone. alone. Yeah, he's, right, right. What they said. All right, I'm gonna get going. All right, pretty good score. We have to find a pub now. And I need to, you know, not die, of course. I know you're Indoors. Oh my gosh, it's the companions hall. We made it into the Companions Hall. They're going to be loaded with alcohol. And I think I can join the Companions. Or I should be able to. From this point on. I hear you're looking for new recruits. <laughs> May I regale you with tales of my past? A stranger comes to our hall. Yes. I would like to join your great society. Thank you for having me. Would you now? Here. Let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Yes, 100 proof. That is the strength of all the spirits on me. Accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in Yorvaster for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. It's actually heartburn. Uh, too many fireball shots. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous you haven't heard of was, you haven't heard of the great booze baron come to us to seek you need to study up on your history my friend it makes no difference what matters is their heart and their arm of course how are you in battle boy <laughs> you dare question the skill of bud light calm down there whelp don't feel like you need to show off for our sake Vilkas here will be the one testing your metal. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I Do I have enough time to train with Vilkas? I might have to like hit him one time and then run inside and then hit him again. Or is, is Vilkas going to even be able to get outside to where he needs to go? Or are they just stuck down here forever? Either way, I'm going to take this from you. There's so much of it here. I mean, it's a jackpot. I love the companions. Companions are officially cool now in my book. It used to be so underwhelming, but you know, all you have to do is change your play style a little bit. Just make a few tweaks you, kind and sir. the companions can be cool. Joff. Rob Dragon, thank you for the tier one. Sean, thank you for watching the channel. You've been watching for about a year. That is crazy. Well, thank you for stopping by. And thank you for watching the channel, of course. Lots of pretty powerful potions in here. Those are only good for keeping me alive. Oh my gosh, it's a jackpot in this whole place. I'm closing the door. I'm going nuts, baby. Give me, give me that. I'll even take the bowl. I don't care. Give me more of that. Give me more of that. Give me that. Give me the coin purse. Give me the wine. Give me all the booze. Yes. This is the biggest score we've had. 
I mean, it's like yeah, it's like if you were playing Grand Theft Auto and you just accidentally teleported into the vault of Union Depository. I'm surprised though in GTA they don't call it the Union's Depository, but thank you, kind sir. Wait, Dova, what did I miss? Can we get a booze counter? I think that would be really tough to add up every single time. It'd be funny, though, if, like, somehow I had a mod. <laughs> if we had a mod that just counted how much alcohol our character was holding. It wouldn't be too bad of a mod. It would just have to be a counter in-game. And that counter would have to increase any time any of the booze that are in the loot tables in the game end up in your inventory. Every so happy I'm able to make a stream. R.I.P. Turkey Stick. Oh, Rain, thank you very much. And yes, rest in peace, Turkey Stick. Forever in my hearts. Not the goblet. Come on. The booze is in the bottle. I don't need to, you know, displace it any more than it already has been. More wine, more wine. We have to be getting close to 100. I mean, maybe I'm just overstating how much booze we're actually finding, but I feel like we're getting it really easily on this run. Look at that, look at that, they have, they have bowls of it! Alright, let's check these last two rooms. If I can somehow end up on the upstairs of this place, that'd be perfect. All right, what we're gonna do next, because now we have enough with this character to really start getting some points and kind of separate ourselves from the other runs that we've done. I need to use these two down here and we have to do sneak exploit again. We have to train sneak. It's gonna get increasingly important as the run goes on. Hey, Stone of Baron Zaya. I think we found four now since we started recording this challenge. If I walk around in here, can I get sneak XP? I just wanna hit level two, maybe level three, but doing it just with sneak is gonna get really boring. Yeah, they're not finding me when I sneak into the corner. Let's just make sure we're getting XP. <clears throat> sneak, there's sneak. We should hit 19. Since it's all stolen, you can't sell it. Oh, uh, it's not about selling it. It's about dropping it off at its location. We're an alcohol courier, nothing else really. All right, so closing that door didn't work. What if I sneak like right here? Can I sneaky sneak? Oh, it doesn't want to give me credit. Help me out, game. Well, Vilkis, I need you to get out of the room. All right, this, they're, they're not good marks for sneak training. We'll have to find something else. Where are we at, though? Let's check. 30, 57. Just between Ale and Alta 1, we have 57. 58. 62, 77, plus 31. Oh my gosh, we're well over 100. This is the most we've had. This is our best run so far, if we can turn it in and secure the points. All right, so that door will take us inside. That's a safe location. We got to take note of the safe locations in case this next one is outdoors. Not outdoors, but dangerous. I won't be here for too long. Oh crap, maybe I will. It's just a residence. Not an actual dungeon. One wine here. Only one? Sober Sally's. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Whole lot of nothing here. Mark, oh, we're in the stables. All right, that makes sense then, I guess. Never been there before. Next time, you might want to get dressed before leaving the house. Next time, just keep your thoughts to yourself, mean. <laughs> Meanie. Shit. Really? How many times am I going to end up in a cave with a bear guarding the treasure? If I 
I wait for 24 hours, will it kill me? I feel like I should be okay. Take the XP. I'm actually not going to go for stamina. I can totally blow this and get killed by the outdoors. It's happened before. There's two bears. Bears are quick enough to catch a sprinting player as well, so I need to be really careful here. I might just use this to get... Oh, oh whoa, whoa, don't stand up. I could just use them to get some sneak XP. There, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Claw the ground. If only I could use my special alcohol ability to, you know, put them to sleep. Okay, we've got to be really careful here. Just nice and slow. Don't turn around. Go, 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 go. Get out. <laughs> I'm leaving. Sorry, Mr. Bear. All right, either way, we're live. Kids, play nice. Lars, learn how to stick up for yourself. All right, it's not outdoors. Draugr? Is he T-posing? Is that like the Draugr version of a T-pose? Alcohol in the corner. Hey, and it's not stealing. I can feel good about myself for finding it. I'm not a total the uh, thief. Theft? I'm not a theft. What level Draugr is that? Level one? I'll take this crap off him because it can be sold. We might be able to break the encounter. No, uh, no, they're going to find me. Just another small level one. Did I take that shield? I did. Let's throw it on. Two down. Look at us go. We're battling. I'm fighting. See, I am alive. I told you I'm combat viable. an archer where's my weapon of choice give me the pickaxe I'm a working class dragonborn damn it back off get out of my mind all right now give me all the booze I had to stay in here because I know there's a good amount of booze here well, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but I just have a hunch. I've seen a couple laying around already that are just easy grabs. Plus, might as well grab some XP in here. It'll keep me survivable for a while. Whatever else we can grab. Kamurkle, how are you? Merkel, did you ever end up playing uh, Far Harbor? Did you play through Far Harbor yet? If so, what did you think? Another day, another dollar, another wormhole adventure. Should you go vampire or werewolf? Uh, vampire. Vampire, 100%. Way cooler. Because, I mean, I haven't played, like, a full-on vampire in a while. Oh, thank you, Kamurkel. I appreciate it. I haven't played, like, a full-on vampire in a while, but I'm 99% sure 
that I am not jumping into that hole. Hell no. How am I going to get back? No, not, not happening. Sorry. We're playing it smart here today. Uh, thank but... you, kind sir. Oh, Rain, thank you for the prime. I think a, a vampire build in Skyrim is much less actively trying to, like, kill you than a vampire build in Oblivion. Oblivion is pretty rough to be a vampire, because I think if you go out in the sun, you just start dying. Where are we? Oh, shit, we're outside. We're outside. We gotta go. We're gonna run out of time. Gotta adjust. Time's running down, so we're really, really short. I'm not having the run end this way. Fuck that. What was the house we were just in? Was it this one? Okay, all right, it was. We got our time back. What we have to think now, don't use the door we just tried. Uh, we'll go to the... Um, we'll, we'll go to the cemetery here, or the House of the Dead. Hall of the Dead. That's what it is. Oh, and it's another one of these bad boys. Calselmo's Tower. Uh, is Calselmo's Tower the one with all the traps? If it is, then there might be a lot of alcohol here. Also a lot of traps. Come on, man. Gotta have something here. I'm finding a ton of skill books. Enchanter. Alchemy lab. Do I, what, what ingredients do I have? I've picked up a few. I know I sold some. Blue mountain flower and salt pile? No, they don't go together. I know blue mountain flower is for healing. Okay. All right. Regenerate magicka. At least we got something. Among a whole lot of nothing that's here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this place has traps everywhere. Calselmo's stone. It's hard to remember so many things out of context. Back the way we came, I guess. Where, where haven't we gone? Have we gone in here? Can I help you? Please be a pub. Please be a pub. Oh, not you again. I already ran into you. You were laying down in your thing last time, and it made the whole process a lot easier. I don't want to kill her again. Should I kill her again? I really don't want to. No, I already, I already have, and, and this time you're not asleep in your little coffin, and I would feel bad about it. So you know what? I'll leave you be. I'm uh, see. I'm going through my redemption arc, so I'm not gonna murder you, unless you're holding out alcohol from me, which I don't think she is. So she can live. She doesn't have contraband. I want to say I went through that one. I haven't been through this one. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is that? Oh no. Wait. I have a bounty here. The guard seems chill. You don't want to talk about it? All right. Guard's cool with it. I'm cool with it. Where are we, though? Advar's house. Why does Advar have guards in his house? Advar's not even home. But Advar does have alcohol. Da -da -da. Don't mind me. I just need my five finger discount. Doo -doo -doo. Evening officer. I trust that you're out protecting the people and not worried with the goings on of a low level criminal. Rabbit lag again, another disappointing household. At least they, at least they have some stuff that's gonna keep me alive. Talk later. Catch you around. 
My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Booze duty. I think we've been through all the doors now. Have we been to Adrian's? Yes, we have gone through this door. We cleared this place out already. Hey, look, there's Gwendolyn. Ma'am. Ma'am. Do you, uh... Do you have any Budweiser? You're not supposed to be in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll leave. <laughs> she didn't even hesitate. She didn't even move. Didn't even have to think about it. I feel like this is an outdoor cave. Also, shit. Is this the exit? Oh no, 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 not one of these. I hate when this happens. Now I'm forced to just use my wits and my skill to get out of here. Okay, the exit's right here. We just spawned awkwardly in the exit. Rainbird, thank you for another, <laughs> thank you for another prime, or uh, gifted. Is it possible to beat the game in this challenge? We're kind of working on that. The mod right now, it's not technically possible. It needs a few patches and updates. But we had a, uh, we had a group on my Discord server that was pretty dedicated, at least for the first week or so, to trying to see how far they could get. Bats, that's scary. Don't throw spookies my way. I don't cope with it well. Oh, shit. I feel so insignificant and small in this. Ah! Ah! Oh, God! No, I wasn't ready for that. I got eyes in the back of my head, though, I guess. Go! <laughs> Run! All right, okay, okay. I can take care of this. Shit, I can't yell at him. Oh, 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 oh! Go! Woo! Run! Survive! You must make the delivery. Mankind depends on it. Run, bud. Where the hell did he come from? Oh my god, where did he come from? That was ridiculous. I didn't sign up for this garbage. Get me out of here, take me back home. This is why, especially during the holiday season, I, I, I think this right now is, is what it must be like to be a male person during the holiday season. It's gotta be this chaotic. This is what Newman was going through. The Postal Service. Seinfeld reference. If you didn't catch it, well, I'm sorry. That's a bummer. I'm starting to feel though we're kind of stuck in Whiterun. Again. I don't want to be stuck in Whiterun again. I mean, it has been roughly 12 months since I spent quite a bit of time with all these people and changed the trajectory of both my channel and <laughs> by extension my life but you know what I'm not we're not that cool with each other myself and white run but this is tough I mean we've been through almost every door which ones am I missing oh um we could go up to the cloud district there's gonna be a few more doors in the cloud district we haven't checked Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm just at the game's intro. This is the door I started with. So let's start from here. Hit one of the doors at the companions. That just takes us to another indoor location so we can checkpoint ourselves. I don't know if I could get there in one run. Or we'll hit Heimsker's house. Pretty sure this one is indoors. Oh, I know, I know. I've already been here before, though. I thought we were cool. The people... Leave now. All right, all right, I'm going. <laughs> the people of Solitude don't like me. They're tired of my shit. I've been there before. Too many times. All right, we should have enough time to get up here, check a couple of these doors. Although, if these doors are all outside, we're in trouble. All right, we're indoors. A loot? I thought that was blood, but it's not. Where are we? Fort Greenwall. Never enough gold. Just need one good hole. 
It's just a bandit base. If they're level one bandits, we could be okay. Oh, shit. Really? Great start. Fantastic job, bud. Way to keep the mission intact, idiot. That's all right. If they follow me up here, I have the perfect hiding spot. A good spy always knows how to keep their enemies <laughs> off track. Really? You missed that? Oh, no. The bandit downstairs. He's having girl troubles. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Don't worry. I have a special program that after 10 easy steps, you'll be a top G in no time. Only $300 a month. Okay, this bandit really wants to kill us. But I need to keep cheesing him for some easy sneak XP. Is he coming up? What are you doing? Let's just keep messing with him. There's no way he doesn't see me here, right? Maybe he can hear me talking. Psst. Must have been the wind. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he's coming back. Woo! This is like Five Nights at Freddy's, but really easy. What was that? Hmm, nothing here after all. Nothing here. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nothing suspicious whatsoever. Is someone there? Nope, no one's here. I think I gain XP faster actually getting someone's attention and avoiding them than by not. Uh oh. Uh. I was sure I Ooh. <laughs> Another close call. I need to get a different camera angle so we can see just how stupid this is. He's still talking to himself. He's coming. Quick, back to the corner of safety. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Things are completely normal. Oh shoot, no, I blew it. All right, I can do this. I don't know why I'm stressing. It's a single bandit. Just don't, don't make too much noise for your friends. Are we good? All right, we survived. Mm, uh, I'll take the armor so I can sell it. I don't want to take his bow, though. How the hell did his friends see me? I mean, they could have heard the combat, but I'm not buying it. If it's a bandit stronghold, though, I bet they have a lot of alcohol here. I can probably break the encounter, though. If I sneak around enough, they'll lose me. You won't get away. There we go. All right, now we're back to sneaking. 23, catch a level up. There we go. probably right in here yep okay there he is he'll be tough we don't want to fight them is there alcohol in that room we can steal there is wait no is that alcohol on the shelf it's a gourd a drum an iron and three lanterns but no booze i don't see a loot chest in here either what about on these shelves right behind him Nothing. They're all empty. 
What kind of bandits are you guys? What was that? Damn it. Get in the closet. Hide. Oh man, now it really is like Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, don't open it. <laughs> Please. I was sure I heard something. Down, Three bears down. They must have alcohol in here. But none could know what not was sure. You don't sing sea shanties unless you drink a lot. It's part of the process. Okay, we're just gonna nice and slow back away. Get into the corner. That's right, ma'am. Keep walking right into the corner of that. Yeah, just keep going that way. Perfect. Per there you oh, Amazing. Thank you for cooperating. Oh, this is really bad. I need to go through that door again. No. No. Back away. I have 200 bottles of alcohol that I'm ready to throw at a moment's notice. Oh my god, <laughs> this is out of control. Stop turning my way! Yes, face that direction. Thank you. Oh, damn it, stop returning to where you can catch me easily. What if I jump? What happens if I jump? Alright, she doesn't seem to notice when I jump up in the air. Perfect. Should be able to just... Oh, you know what? There's a little path down there. It seems risky, though. I don't want to step on their potatoes. There we go. Perfect. boy, bud. We basically just turned this game into Death Stranding now. Instead of packages, I'm delivering alcohol. Although I think in Death Stranding, you can still deliver alcohol. Disarmed. Okay, maybe he doesn't have any weapons. Be kind of funny if I was able to use the grindstone right now in front of this guy without getting caught. Alcohol. We got it. Booze spotted. I'm locking it on target now. HQ. I've uh, located the HVT. Proceeding now for extraction. High value target acquired. We're backing out of the hot zone. Very good. Very nice. Still doesn't notice. Lots of food down here. I think we're going to be able to find some alcohol in here. Nothing on the shelves. Two high value targets in the corner. Although the bartender is mad. And we might be screwed. This might be the end of it. Oh shit. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's not a big deal. I can win this fight. Ah, oh, fuck. Unless there's two of them that fight me. Okay, there's two now. Whoa, okay. And they're both power attacking. All right. This is why we saved up potions. Not taking any risks here. I'm the greatest goddamn alcohol courier the land has ever known, and you will come to know my name. That should have stunned you. That's cheating. Okay, two down. Can we go back to sneaking? Maybe. Got a lot of XP in that fight. I don't like killing people. I'm not a fan of it. But I'll do what's necessary to secure two bottles of alcohol. I think that's it, though. I think we've cleared everything out. They don't have a lot more here. It was worth it, though. I think we got about 10 points. All 
Okay, now like any good spy, we shall escape without them even noticing we were here. If I can, if I can jump on the baked potatoes, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna step on their baked potatoes on my way out. That's how I feel about these bandits. You know what? Actually, let's check the Khajiit caravan. Damn, I want that poison. Still no lockpick, so I can't get it. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Your patronage towards saving the world and all of its parties will be much appreciated. All right, that wasn't... That wasn't too bad. We survived. We're all good. We need to run around and check this back door, though. That's a lot of time. If this is outdoors, we're in trouble. Uh... Uh, okay, I think it's indoors. Hey, 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 that's my move. You can't take my move. Line sighted. Locate Mercer Frey. Wait, what? Carlia and Brynjolf have joined me in my exploration of Urkingthand, a vast dwarven ruin that supposedly contains the legendary Eyes of the Falmer. Together we hope to stop Mercer Frey from stealing the eyes and escaping from Skyrim with the skeleton key of Nocturnal. What kind of drinking binge did I go on to where I ended up on this quest? How am I here? I, I must have blacked out and now, now here we are. I thought that was a different quest when you black out and wake up in a different part of the map. I'm not ready for this. This is too much responsibility. I can't handle this. It's too much. I don't even remember these guys. I might be able to get the Nightingale armor if we finish this quest. That's a good idea. That's a good point because we have access to Nightingale Hall. But I need to be careful here. I'm here for one reason and one reason only. I'm not here for Nightingale armor, okay? Does Nightingale armor, you know, have 70% alcohol by volume? No, I didn't think so. All right? So I don't need to help out Brynjolf and Carlia with their stupid quest to go receive some kind of eyeball, unless that eyeball is a weird, uh, you know, vanity shot that is sold at a ridiculous price. And it's like, ooh, yeah, it's just like a normal shot, except you eat it like an eyeball at one of those weird pubs that you never go to again, but you always oddly kind of remember as that one weird place that had the really weird shot. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. It's right up my alley. I need a lockpick. I'm amazed I haven't found a lockpick yet. All right, I assume there's a second lever somewhere in here that'll open up the door. I don't know if I want to hang out in here much longer, though. I am interested in coming back, though. Why do people love Brynjolf? Chat, do you have a crush on Brynjolf? You can tell me. It's okay. I won't be jealous. Ooh, 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 ooh. Keep walking, Buster. Oh. Whew. Good thing these guys are blind. Unlike those bandits, these ones can't see. Okay, let's go take restoration. 
pretty basic, important early spell so that if we have to heal ourselves with magic, it's much cheaper. It'll buy us a couple of seconds in a close encounter. We gotta get out of here. I'm starting to lose track of the doors. Okay, so this one was at the barracks, the guard barracks on the side of the Cloud District. We'll have to run around and hit the front door to reset our timer. But still no pub. We haven't ended up in a pub yet. This is a really long run. Alright, back here. Should be able to go back out. I'm just going to run and try and get my stamina or my timer. Okay, no, Heimscar's house. Which one is the door? Open door. Pfft. Don't scare me like that. You know what? There's two doors. This is the... Oh, this just takes us through the blacksmith's house. I forgot. Can you sell me stuff? Just arrive in the city? Is it true what they say there? No, you're just the assistant. He's not the actual blacksmith. Although I'm sure that there's alcohol here. Right, it's the blacksmith's house. There has to be some, right? The the big dungeon? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure if we went back to the big dungeon, we could find another door, but it's really dangerous. And we're carrying a ton of points right now that we have to cash in. If we cash in all the booze we have on us now, this is going to be our best run. But it doesn't count until we cash in. Also, somebody asked, the outdoors kills us. Yes, if we're outside for 35 seconds or more, we will die. Immediately. No, uh, there is a warning. But it won't drain health. It's just an automatic succession of <laughs> life. All right, yeah. The blacksmith is disappointingly dry. Okay, give me a second to think. We've already been here before. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Okay. Oh, uh, well, now you're hostile. You were nice earlier. I thought we were okay. I thought we were friends. I don't want to do this again. No. I can't kill you. Why must she be like this? I thought everything was A-OK -okay between us. Have I been here before? Can't a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here. I will. Last warning. Leave. Now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where where even am I? Snowshod Manor. Not supposed to be in here. Oh, I am, because there's a lot of alcohol downstairs. You best believe I'm supposed to be here. Stop following me. Hey, damn it, leave me alone. Let me steal from you all. Hey, that isn't your oh, God, <laughs> I didn't realize she snuck behind me. You By Izmir, a thief. Hey, hat you dirty thief. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they can't do anything because the guards can't teleport themselves into the house. Where is it? I know you've got more contraband in here, so fess up, Vol Wolf. That's a cool name. <laughs> Get out of my way. Back off. I saw you steal that. Oh no, did you? If only I cared. Get your thieving hands off that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on. Time out one sec. Hold on. My frame rate just completely tanked. Anyone else seeing that? Oh, 
All right, it's back to normal. Okay, it's fixed. That was concerning for a second there. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not. Let's not and say we did. Oh, we're good. I've been here before. Although that house that we were just in, I bet that there's another entrance. I bet there's another door in here. I know. You guys are pissed off at me. You don't like me. I, I get it. Frankly, I don't care. There's got to be more in here. You're holding out on me. You should have listened. Guards, help! Trespasser. Guards, help! Trespasser. Yeah. Psh. I'm warning you. Back off. Aha! I knew you were holding out on me more. All right, there are no more teleports in here. Is that Volov? Is he asleep? Oh, that's adorable. He's sound asleep while I rob him again. Nothing there. Nothing there. Did I get both doors to this place? Oh, not you guys again. No, not these clowns. No. They didn't want me to be a part of their mining expedition, so no. I won't be cool with them. Uh, Bannered Mare has two doors, or whatever it's called. Don't know if we've checked this. Oh, we have been here. She used to be upset at me, but now we're cool. You might consider putting on something. Anything. I'm wearing my courier shoes, so lay off. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. How's Cade? He's still traumatized from the burglary? All right, we should be able to at least get some money. I'm just going to sell everything. Sell everything and buy things that will help keep me alive. Poison, I'll hold on to poison. Could be useful in a fight. Oh, damn it, her inventory didn't refresh. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Cannot wait while the guards are pursu- Damn it! I've handicapped myself. And I didn't mean to. Running out of leads. I know that the guard barracks door back there isn't randomized, at least in the current version that I'm playing, so I won't use it. Ooh, back door. This one's new. At least I think it's new. Are you a friendly horker? Ah! Jesus! No, this is outdoors! Oh, no, 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 no. Don't end the run like that. I gotta get across. Oh, no! Fudge, I knew it would end on a cave that counted as outdoors. God dang it. Ugh. No, that was the run. We were doing so well. Damn it. Oh, that was it. Shit. Uh, so we ended up with zero. I mean, how many points theoretically would we have had? 30, 63, 64. 71 or 68 72 uh 92 oh no oh my gosh 92 plus 37 is 99 thank you 139 much, so we we would have been 100 at 139 plus the 75 bonus points we would have had well over 200 points oh and it ends because i'm an idiot so I'm a big dummy that feels that feels unfair that feels so unfair I'm so upset god dang it I'm going I'm going to win for the supporters who gamble all we needed all I needed to do was get lucky with 
a, a tavern or an inn, and I just got really unlucky. That was all. Oh, that was a bummer. I was so locked in, too. I was convinced. That was the run. It was happening right there. Ah, damn it. Does anybody know how to spell... Beer? If it was, like, on an old-school text message. <laughs> beer. 012023. 012023. Does that spell beer? We did, McThuggin. We went to the Hall of the Dead. We tried it earlier. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I think we had gotten most doors in Whiterun. Okay, we are still recording. Ye if hole. I just had to make sure. I know. It... Two, three, three, seven for old school keypad is beer. Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, all right, we're going with the one that we typed in anyway. Also, if anybody hadn't seen it yesterday, this is the new VOD channel intro. At least for the next couple of VODs. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I get a kick out of it. I won't do it. I only do it a couple times, but I thought it was a pretty funny, uh, <laughs> a pretty funny rendition on it. Because I know for a fact that there's going to be some people who uh, watch the VOD channel who never make it to the streams, who haven't seen it yet, who are going to open up this stream or... Uh, the stream from two days ago on the VOD channel and they'll see it and they'll be like, oh, it's a cinematic epic intro this time. <laughs> it's just fuck you. But it's it's a friendly fuck you. It's it's a friendly like um, I want to say at least in the region of the Midwest where I'm also a boy Fosa. Thank you for the prime. I, I missed that. I apologize. Uh, in the Midwest, at least there's different definitions or or there's different applications of saying fuck you like if my friend tells me dude you're never gonna believe this i just got a promotion at work and they're paying me double for half the hours that i used to work i'd go fuck you get out of here yeah like there's totally different i just woke you up <laughs> <laughs> Intrepid Turtle, welcome. How are you? Add a smile at the end. <laughs> You're... Nah, see, that makes it too obvious what's happening. There's got to be at least a little bit of... Mm, room for interpretation, if that makes any sense. I almost added a period. I thought adding a period at the end of it would have been too mean. You're getting pizza? Do I want some? No, I broke keto last night, so I can't. I cheated yesterday. And I'm mad at myself for it. Although I feel great today. I've, I slept like a rock. Can chat start every stream with a fuck you, Juve? Um, sure. Broke keto with food or beer? Food. I've never broken it with alcohol, and I don't plan on it. Like, if I if I do drink, which, oh my gosh, I'm... It's genuinely sad how much a, of a lightweight I am when it comes to alcohol nowadays. But if I do drink, then I'll usually have a vodka soda lime which I kind of enjoy. It depends. Sometimes they can be really gross and my stomach will turn and I'll just be like, ugh, not enjoyable. Isn't keto bad for you? Maybe, but I'm down 25 pounds and I'm not complaining. 
I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna I'm 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 keep it a buck. I was I was uh I was really filling it out. But anyway, are we back on the gameplay scene? We are. How long have I been doing? I started about two months ago, maybe a little bit over two months. But I felt pretty good. Anyway, moving through. I know if you stop doing it and you just go 100% back into the lifestyle that you had before it. Okay, apparently we're already outside. Uh, Run is not quite dead yet. If I can ninja my way into finding a door. Oh, my health is really low, but we should have enough time to heal. Battle cry. There has to be a door somewhere down here. Someone just stepped on their own trap and died. Haha, <laughs> nerd. Get good. Come on, door, 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 door. There has to be a door around here. Come on, entrance. No. No, fuck off. Oh. Ah, eight seconds. I'm running out of time. Doors. I'm going to get right to the door, aren't I? No, there is no door. God dang it. Stop. <laughs> Stop giving me a bad spawn. This is unfair. It's unbalanced. I'm being cheated out of my own challenge. Damn it. All right, who, who, who recommended that seed? Wait, wait, one more time. What is the text form of beer? Is it 2337? Is that what you said? I could have gone back through the starting door. 233737. Oh, no, no, no. 233737. Go with that. We'll start. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a good run here. It's gonna happen. Thirty five seconds on the board. Hey, you know what? At least when we die, we can hang out and chat. Right? Is the door randomizer mod on Xbox yet? It is not yet. The door randomizer mod won't be on Xbox yet until DDM is able to add in the DLC locations because on console, the base game of Skyrim uh, Special Edition is essentially all DLC in the game, right? There, there's certain parameters that have to be met in order for the mod to port over to console and we might as well, when we port it over to console, have it as updated as possible. Before we start again, can I buy booze? Great question. No. We cannot buy alcohol and deliver it and count that towards our score. Chat is in love with Brynjolf. This is like the eighth Elder Scrolls character that chat has just randomly decided to get really horny over. Y'all weren't here for Teldrin. Don't even get chat started on Teldrin. That, it, that got out of control. The thirst in chat was crazy. Y'all, if we ever play Mass Effect and chat doesn't go nuts over Miranda Lawson, then I need a new chat. We're, we're going to have to, like, reboot and restart this whole thing, because <laughs> I'll tell you what, when I was, like, 14, 15 playing Mass Effect 2, unlocking the Miranda Lawson romance scene was the only objective that I had. That, that was, like, my one goal in life for the next two weeks was, I will romance this character. It's happening. <laughs> it's like, it's happening. Garrus. All right, yeah, Garrus is Garrus is a is a good second place, and then I per and then I proceeded as a dumb fourteen year old who didn't really know how to play Mass Effect two properly. I proceeded to get every single member of my crew killed except for Jacob 
and the one alien scientist. Those were the only two surviving members of my entire Mass Effect 2 crew by the end of it. I would love to replay Mass Effect, though. Uh, that is a, a whole... I never played the third Mass Effect. I don't have a ton of knowledge of the first one. I'm very unclear on the lore of the whole universe, so replaying it from the very beginning with uh, Legendary Edition would be a lot of fun. But I mean, crap, playing through the whole trilogy probably takes, what, 100, 120 hours? Maybe even longer? Especially if you want to get the good ending in Mass Effect 2, you have to pretty much 100% the game. If you skip the side stuff, maybe 60 hours. That's quick. Because I remember, I remember Mass Effect 2 taking me about 24 to 28-ish hours. Camilla is the best Skyrim wife? I mean, my Skyrim wife, it was Balamond. It's got to be Bal I mean, Balamond is the best... Uh, he's he's a humble worker. He's the blacksmith in town. He adopted uh, the one kid who's really old. Um, he also will just pay you cash. Honestly, that's my favorite part about Balamond. Is he just gives you income for no reason. Deliver him some fire salts. He falls in love and he pays you for it. It's passive income. Unlimited money hacks. All right, Dark Water Crossing. We are outdoors. We're completely screwed, but we have a door right in front of us. We may be able to survive. Please don't screw me over. Okay. It looks like this run's going to start off hot, and we have no other choice but to explore the depths of this place and hopefully survive. <laughs> There's no oh God, they're already just waiting to kill me. Okay, the exit of this room's on the other side of the room. There's also a skeleton I can hear him in the background, you know, creaking and crawling. Okay, it's loaded with vampires. I think these are empty wine bottles, so they're not worth any points. Oh, Christ. Great. All right. Let's start the great escape now. Might as well get to it while we're here. Hi, hello, how are you? Oh, this is the- oh, that's a master va- okay. Oh, master vampire, fantastic. It's a conjure skeleton minion. <gasps> Completely restore magicka. <gasps> what is happening right now? This chest is exactly what I need. Okay, we have to do some really quick things because we have nothing favorited, nothing hotkeyed, we have no armor on, and we have just gotten hit in the back by a master vampire with a drain life spell. So here's what we gotta do. Gonna exit the menu, turn around. Whoa! Hello, sir! How are ya? Please tell me your sword is not primed to just plant itself and turn my skull into a trapezoid. We're gonna go to Battle Cry. We're also gonna equip the minion. Is that all of them? I don't converse with my prey. Is that a fucking joke? It wouldn't let me activate Battlecry. I was mashing the Z key. I'm hitting Z. I gave the game so much Zs. I gave the game so many Zs, it could have fallen asleep for eight hours. That's how many Zs I gave the game. And it didn't throw on the power. I should have survived. Again, I've been cheated. This game is out to get me. I, it has not forgiven me for getting turkey stick killed. And mmm, mmm, mmm. Worth every second. It does, Caustic. We're starting from scratch each time. We're, we're, we're starting from scratch each, each time. There's a few other methods and changes to this playstyle with the randomized doors that we're going to try in the future that change things up. Somebody mentioned before, and this is a fantastic idea, 
Somebody mentioned before, uh, we'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six. It was suggested using the Nemesis mod death system with this game or with this, uh, we'll just call it a game mode, right? I mean, at the end of the day, this mod is more of a game mode than anything. But the Nemesis system mod, what it does in Skyrim is when you die, I think you respawn like your character isn't dead dead. You will respawn and the character that killed you will become even more powerful than they were before and they'll have like upgraded loot. So there's sort of a emergent storytelling part of the game that arises where you're like, oh, I want to go get revenge on this character now because they killed me. Now they're more powerful and I just don't want to let them kill me. Uh, also, Caustic, thank you for the... Um, Thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, it's based on the Shadow of series. And you have a debuff. Sometimes they steal your equipment. Right. So, and, and that's probably the next challenge we'll do with this mod. So we're not just doing permadeath the whole time and running through different characters. So we'll probably try that on on this for like a separate challenge and more of a consistent run through this mod. That'll probably be the video we do for the next release of the mod. And that could be really fun. I rate gyrator. Thank you. You are awesome as well. That is a uh, visceral username. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. A lot to take in. Okay, hold on. What's the gamble right now? What are, what are people gambling on? What's going on here? More than 200 points. Look at that. Three quarters of the predictions are on no. Do I have channel points? Streamers can't cast a prediction on their own channel. That is bogus. All right. I'm putting 10 gifted subs on it. I'll, I'll, I'll give out another 10 subs if I don't get it. I'm getting it, though. I'm getting it. I, I'm putting me is on the line. Me. I. I'm putting some stake into this conflict. We're getting 200 points. This is the run. Right here. Please. Lord baby Jesus in your golden fleece of diapers and whatever the rest they say in Talladega Nights when they're doing a prayer. I don't know. Give me a good spawn. Come on, hub spawn. Dragon's Reach? Loading screen, we might be in Whiterun again. We're back in Whiterun again. I don't have any money. Kids, behave yourselves. How do we keep ending up in Whiterun? This is amazing. House Grayman. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not randomized yet. This one is. How do I keep landing in the Solitude Blacksmith? This guy's got to be tired of me at this point. He only has one bottle of alcohol. I'm starting to learn now the exact number of booze that each NPC keeps on them, or at least in their homes. Oh, wrong door. I know he has one in here, though. Yeah, right here. Easy. I just want to go home and read. So go do it. Why are you yelling out loud to strangers about it? Okay. Residential. Abandoned house. Thank you, kind <gasps> sir. Ten months. Happy New Year, Juve. Thank you for making Unreal content. CB, Happy New Year's to you as well. Thank you very much. Hold on. We're in the abandoned house. This is where that one quest takes place. Lots of wine. None of this is theft. 
a battle axe? Should we roll with a two-handed stealth? Should that be our build? I could get behind a two-handed stealth build. I don't think many people have tried two-handed stealth. And, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So let's change it up. I think in order to do this quest, we're going to need a door in Whiterun to take us to the hub space of Markarth. Talk to the one person really quickly. Hopefully get through the conversation in 35 seconds. Then work our way back to Whiterun, find this door, and get into this house. Because I don't think anything's going to happen without the other guy here. But there's a lot of alcohol in here, so we're getting it out of the way early. Finally found some lockpicks. Uh, you know what? I don't like having a two-handed build because I'll have to constantly equip it and unequip it. Magic is kind of important for this build, but we'll see how it goes. Don't ask why I'm sneaking. I have no clue either. Requires a key. All right, so unless that door gets opened with a key, I don't think anything happens in here. But a good start nonetheless. Points aren't on the board, but they might be soon. You're naked. I'm also a hero. I'm allowed to be naked. The rules are different in this universe. Was she talking about me? We've been in here before. We know this dungeon well. If you guys remember from the last video, I had a hell of a time getting through this dungeon. Is someone there? Yeah, someone is here. She's an ice mage. She's going to drain my stamina and I'll be dead within seconds. I'll take the XP though, but I'm going to get out of here. What? Okay, not me at least. What do I do? What? Huh? What? No, no. That's all right. That's all right. We thrive in these situations where the game does something that we aren't ready for it to do. It's two doors. It's two separate doors. You can see them. Their visuals are glitching. It's like a glitch in the matrix. We just have to decode it properly. Got it. All right, let's avoid that door for a bit because it's scary and is two teleports in one. See how some of the doors will prompt you to unlock them or it'll be open door. Oh, the college. Yes, tell me it's the same room as before. It is. Yes, we've been here before and there is a lot. Plenty of potions that can help us in here. Certainly some alcohol. Stone of Burns Eye, look at all that. I love college. Anything to make me forget about these student loans, give it to me. This should be it, but we finally found a place within Whiterun that has multiple doors. There's three other doors in here that we can check out. Uh, that loading screen usually means I'm going to a scary place. Is this outdoors? Does Black Reach count as outside? Let's see. If we get the time warning in the top left, then it counts as outside. But Blackreach shouldn't count as outdoors. Nothing yet. 
Oh my god, it does. Why? Why does Black Reach count as outside? Oh, that sucks. Whew, I'm glad we checked. Black Reach is not outdoors. We need to change that classification. Once again, the game is trying to cheat me out of the success I so deserve. What was that? Oh crap, I thought we were in a pub. Two bandits. Somehow they haven't seen me yet. Okay, now they ha- Ow! 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 Piss off! Come back here. Hidden door? <laughs> oh crap, what a miss. Hey! Oh god, fire traps! Oh Jesus! <laughs> that was so close. Where'd the other one go? Did he run through this room on his own? Oh god, there he is. All right, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, there's more traps. Back away. Back off. That's right. You've ran into the master of context. Whew. I can visualize my surroundings, understand the solution to a problem, contextualize it all, and then place you right at the end of the story. You, my friend, have been turned into a punctuation mark in the story of this adventure. But unfortunately, your punctuation mark is more like a comma in a long run-on sentence that most people ignore and kind of get bored of reading. So really, your life is meaningless. Other than the alcohol you provided me. Thank you very much for your contribution. Alrighty. Anything else up here? We got the secret door entrance. Where are we? Riftwield Manor. I want to say Chillrend is here. But there's also a lot of wine. Okay, there's a note on the floor. Shopping list. Milk, goat cheese, turnips, cauterizing agent, eggs, flour, cheese. No alcohol. They didn't mention wine. Debella statue. We'll take that. Ah, Debella. The god of elder scrolls that has never once been turned into horny mods nope never happened before no the community has never once more wine though good good amount of points haven't technically scored but okay can we add, can we turn the trap off i i i, I this bar has been locked in place and cannot be opened. But I can still activate the door. Guys, we, we have to turn this off. It, it's, it's a hazard. We have a gas leak. Come on. <laughs> Come on, get up. This whole place is going to go up in flames. Lockpick. Ah, shoes. Finally, something to protect myself. Keep moving through here. If, if they're all low level bandits, I think I like my chances. Did I step on that? OK, 
Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, I've ran into more complicated equations before. I can figure this out. It's about just decoding. Timing. Courage. Zeal. Grit. Why, why can't I, what the, that, that, was I hitting the wrong keys? No, there's like an invisible, what is going on? All right, fine, I'll stand up and do it. I really should not be in this place. Another trap. Who set all the, what, it, I don't remember what quest this is. Do I only get one try on a trap trigger? All right, no, we can keep going. Beautiful. It is. I knew it. It was absolutely worth coming down here. Give me chill rend. Rest in peace to my two-handed sneak build that I wanted to do. We're taking Chillrend. Fuck. Seven lockpicks left, I can do this. Mmm, you son of a... There we go. Chill rend easy. Book, sure. Mercer's plans, whatever. Bust of the Gray Fox. I've made a joke about that before. Speechcraft, prices are 10% better. Increase Magicka by 20 points. We'll take the Necklace of Magicka. We'll take that buff. This is the best gear we've found so far. No, don't drop... One of these days, I'll correctly learn the controls of this game. Now we can move down back the way we came for another teleport. I think it's a fairly safe journey back. So let's take it. Dawnstar. We got another hub, hub teleport. So we're in Dawnstar. And we've been here before. Dawnstar has treated us kindly with this challenge before. There's a ton of doors. Back inside? Is this a pub or is this a house? Does this count as a pub? No, no, it's just someone's house. But they have a bar here. And that is a lot of points, so we're taking it. I'm checking everything. Come on, you gotta, you gotta have more than just six laying about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, count it up. Gimme that. I thought those were empty bottles, let's go. Huge. Very, very huge. Potion of haggling, probably won't need that too much. We'll just take it in case. Adventurer's backpack with bedroll. Fine leather backpack. Thief backpack. Lock picking is easier. Now we'll, we'll take the one that gives us a stamina buff. Gotta go with that one if we're gonna take a backpack. Plus, it completes our look. This is the look. Of the, <laughs> of the booze career. The booze baron. Is there a word for alcohol that starts with C? Because I think that would be a good title. Something career. But the alliteration has to be on point. We've also got a mine right next to us. So we have a fairly good connection between Whiterun and Dawnstar. Not a, how many times am I going to have to interrupt this ma'am's slumber? That your best? Huh? Resisted frost feed. Okay, I'm leaving. If she can resist my frost damage, I'm out of there. Yes! Yes! All right, we have located an inn. We have located a scoring... Why is that a red dot? 
What was that? Thank you. Thank you, Lurbuck. You have made my day complete, and I will deliver to you, and you, and anyone else. I think it's just them. I will deliver to you, unto you, the finest of beverage possible. But I can't yet, because I need to, I need to reach my bonus point threshold, which is 100 at one time. We have to drop off 100 at once for the bonus score. But right now we have 20, 25, 29, plus 4, 33, 43, plus 18, 43 plus 8, I'm really bad at math, 51, plus 10, 60, we're at 64. I can't steal any alcohol from them because that would just, you know, that would be dumb. Don't really have any other explanation from that because, like, I can't steal it from them and drop it off to them and then count that as me scoring points. But we have an in. We have an in. The Cognac Courier. Cognac Courier. That's the best. All right. <laughs> I am the Cognac Courier. And it is because of me that we are able to keep the hooch. Uh, we're able to keep the hooch hierarchy in place. Magica, wine. No one's here sleeping. More booze. Sixty-seven ish. Not a whole lot here. What the hell is this? Was there a seminar here? Like somebody was teaching a course. Really small attendance. Heimsker's house. Heimsker, you've got a weird house. This is the murderer's house in Windhelm. The murder mystery house. Alcohol. Pretty sure there's other stuff in here as well. We've got the hidden room with the false back panel. Ah! I feel weird, you know? I, I mean, this is definitely evidence, you know, if we were doing DNA tracking. But I'm just stealing it. Ow. There's too much- there's, there's too many objects on the ground that might kill me. I'll take the butcher journal though. Who knows? Maybe on this weird adventure, we solve a murder. I know it's Calixto, though. Calixto in town. He has a, a protocol in which he murders people. Do do ha ha ha, funny video game jokes. I'll take the strange amulet. Any other beer lying around? This is really all dudes need to live in an apartment on their own and be happy. Right here. That's all we need. Give us a retro game console and a 13 inch TV. We'll survive. No way. I made it to the Greybeards. These old guys don't even know who I am. Hey, 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 I know you guys have to keep hooch around here. Come on. The cognac career demands it. Hey, you got any booze, old man? Oh no, he won't even talk to me. They're so blown away with my service to the land that they've decided to start worshipping me. Thank you. I will do this for you. But not just for you, for everyone. Everyone in the land who needs to quench their thirst. Or enjoy a drink with friends. Ooh, alright. Hey, they're not holding out on me completely. They got a couple things here. Lots of regeneration potions. They only have regeneration potions. Is that how they stay alive for so long? They're like the fountain of youth potions for them. Your brother just found out his identity got stolen? Wait, that's not good. <laughs> what was the identity that got stolen? Just 
just I'm just curious. <laughs> don't please don't tell. Don't say anything. That's actually really bad. Hope your brother can figure that out sometime soon. Damn it, come on, they have to have more in here. What are you even praying to? The window? Hey, it looks like the Skyrim logo. Uh, the intense meeting room. Ah, here we go. Five more points. Six. This ended up being a lot more fruitful than I thought it would be. These old folks, they know how to party, I'll tell you that much. Let's check their other doors. I need to find my way back to Dawnstar, though, just to be careful. Heartwood Mill. Okay, outdoor spawn. Definitely don't want that. Hi. Hi, her. That door seems to be working just as intended. Maybe it's a coincidence? Maybe not. Let's head back. I think that might count as two doors, though. Okay, we got the right one. Back in Dawnstar. Everything's chill. Everyone's happy. We're really close, though. Oh, not this again. Do I have to? Astrid, please. I don't want to. All right, bastards. Which one of you stole the kegger? Hmm? The tap to our kegerator went missing, something? and one of you stole it. Is it you? This one needs something. Khajiit? I could see a Khajiit pulling a prank like that at a party by stealing the keg tap. Yeah. What about you? What? Need something? Alea Quintus. Hmm. Sorority girl. Well-off parents. With a last name like Quintus, you might feel higher than thou, or holier than thou, on a consistent basis. Maybe it was you who stole the keg tap. Or what about you, Fulthime the Fearless? Hmm. No. It wasn't Fulthime. He's too... Hmm. He doesn't care enough to try to piss people off like that. He's too... He's hmm. too chill. He sits in the back of the party, trying to appear mysterious, in the hopes that somebody will approach him. He would never go out of his way to do something so outlandish as to steal a keg tap and ruin the party. So it was either Aaliyah... Hmm. Or Vasha. Can I assist? Hmm? Now, Aaliyah, I could see you having the audacity to do it and get away with it because maybe you've got a crush on someone at the party and this was your way of like, haha, I got your phone. I'm running away with it now. You got to chase me. Vasha, yes. you seem like you're throwing an alternate party and you lost your keg tap. How can I assist? And therefore, the only way for you to ensure that your party continued was to ruin another. You figured you could place the blame here over on Aaliyah because she seems like the easy target. Vasha? Yes? By the accordance of the Hooch hierarchy, I sentence you to execution. What's happening? Damn it, what are you doing? Also, she's much older than I thought she was. Can I wear this? <laughs> Can I wear this? Ah, yes, my new look. <laughs> I look like in uh, GTA San Andreas when you could wear the gimp suit. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it's not a kink thing. Okay, the party we're throwing is not weird. But I will be wearing this. <laughs> I will be wearing this mask. The conniving Khajiit. A cat like that was sure to have enemies. It's no wonder you chose him. Well, Astrid, you know, 
I have a set of values and ideals that I stick to, and I'm glad you can appreciate that. Khajiit. Cat like that was sure to have enemies. It's no wonder you chose him. I'm gonna remain silent because I'm still processing what the hell I just did. Hm. When most would speak, you listen. You think. You understand that the only thing that matters is you following my orders. To kill now, hey, hold on. I only follow one order. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the What? Shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship I was not, to the next level. I was not stereotyping the Khajiit. Like if anything, I was stereotyping all three of them. And based on more, based on more than just what they were born as. Okay? <laughs> In the pine forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road. When question, I'll see you at home. All right, sure thing, Astrid. I'm gonna go now. I appreciate it. This was fun. But I've got more important things I need to take care of. Let's run back around. Let's hit our door up here. This is our door back to the inn. This is our sanctuary. This is our home base. This is where the entire operation runs out of from now on. Am I really only level two? We haven't had to do a whole lot of sneaking on this run. This has been a different one. It's playing out a lot differently than the last few. Let's see, where are we at points wise? One, 26. 26 plus seven, 33, 37. Plus 19, 37 plus 9, 46, plus 10, 56, plus 21 is 77, 83. Okay, we need 17 more before we can come back and drop off for 175 points. We've gone through most of those doors. Let's move back down. Have we checked this one? I don't remember if we have. Okay, yeah, we've been in here. Should be able to just move along. Check another couple doors. I've been in here. Shrine of Kinnereth, we were here one, maybe two runs ago. And I'm pretty sure it's just an empty basement with nothing. There's a strong box, we'll take it. I got lockpicks to spend. Some loot, nothing else. Say a quick prayer. Bless me, rid me of the curse that has sent me on this preposterous mission. Next time you might want to worth every scepter. The Baron of Booze, the Herald of Hoots, the Maestro of Mead, the Cognac Courier. <laughs> That's awesome. Appreciate it, Caustic. Thank you. Right, Senpai. I love that you just you just leave them there. You refuse to elaborate. They just hang out there. Uh, what what happens to the other two in that shack? Okay, where are we? There's a child on the bed. This child is surrounded by alcohol. We must save them. Whew. I'm really glad I was here to be able to do a heroic deed. And a great hero will always just, you know, do their good deed in the shadows. Refuse to take credit for it. Or they'll start a, a YouTube channel about it and their thumbnails will be crazy and they'll be like, we gave this homeless loser 10,000. Watch us be really cool. No. <laughs> I do. Uh, I, I am actually kind of not a fan of... Uh, those videos. They're, they don't seem as prevalent anymore. They used to be kind of a big deal. I'm glad we found a way as a society to monetize God, poor people. Go. Good job, YouTube. Are we outside? Whoa, hey oh, you guys prepared a feast for me? Oh man, I came to the party. <laughs> well, I'm a little underdressed, but... I think I can still enjoy the party nonetheless. 
Thank you for having me. The gods and goddesses of mead and wonder, alcohol. This is our haven. Welcome, Dragonborn. Our door has stood empty since Alduin first set his soul snare here. By Shaw's command, we sheathed our blades and ventured not the Vale's dark mist. But three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormley, the fearless, glad-hearted in battle. Hekon, the valiant, heavy-handed warrior. Feldir, this counts as dying. Um, well, thank you for introducing me to my servants. I would like to meet them in person, Ease Grimoire. But more importantly, I have to ask you, if you are all the souls of the greatest Nord warriors in history, then why does the main table here not have a single drop of alcohol here? What is going on? What is the work I've been fighting for to do? What is it all for? Is there no meaning in the alcohol that we drink in the company we keep? For shame, I'm taking this from you because you no longer deserve it. And no, I'm not helping you kill the big dragon. I'm here for more important things than saving the world from some dragon. I'm here to save the world from their worries. That's a greater, uh, that's a greater purpose. If the people are able to forget that there is a giant dragon that seeks to destroy all worlds, then it'll be like there is no dragon out there seeking to destroy all worlds. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the wine, and uh, yeah, I'm taking your pie too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Huh. Far you've traveled, your trials long, to taste of Sovngarde's sweet delights. Yeah, well, Sovngarde's sweet delights are incredibly disappointing. Greatest warriors, my ass. Quest completed. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I guess we've beaten the game. <laughs> well, well, I, I mean, it'd be kind of cool if we were able to beat the game. How do you have those robes? Don't you have to be the College of Winterhold, uh, the Dean of Students, or whatever rank you have to acquire? My disciples still hey, hey, Windcaller, you're the guy who has the horn we have to get. I've never forgiven Jurgen Windcaller for being my introduction to Delphine. Okay, so we have to find... This is a really disappointing amount of wine. There should be wine all over. It should be spilling out onto the floor. There should be so much wine that the wine bottles standing on top of wine bottles have become so heavy that the wine bottles at the bottom of the pile are beginning to break. All right, are you the three idiots I'm supposed to encourage? I think it's certainly breaking a bit. Let troubles fade. Oh, I long to fight that foul worm. But by Shaw's command, we curb our wrath. Is that all? Is that all we got here? Have you come to cleanse Sovngarde at long last of Alduin's foul mist? You guys are giving me way too much credit. Uh, but there are four doors here. So might as well just see where they go. Okay, scary dungeon, likely filled with traps. I've probably been here recently enough. I think if I take a right turn, there's going to be a big open room with some spiders on the ground. No, that's a soldier I hear rolling around. No, this is the exact room that I was talking about. Big open room, spiders on ground. I'm getting good at this. I'm turning into the Geo Guesser guy when we end up in these dungeons. The okay, the cow head. I'm running. I'll run back for it. Scroll of Mayhem. That could come in handy if we need to escape something. Creatures and people up to level twelve will attack anyone nearby for sixty seconds.
Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, you guys mentioned take the cow head. What, like this? Or that? How do I receive a uh, cow head? How do I obtain cow head? How do I get head uh, from of cow? How do I, great warrior, receive? How do I get some cow head? So I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Oh, here we go. Okay, we found it. Roasted ox head. <laughs> Why were y'all so excited about this? Did you know? Like a Skyrim fun facts video, I could see it playing out like that. Did you know that in Skyrim you can actually get head from a cow? What? Look at the shocked look on his face. He's actually a thumbnail. <laughs> He's ready for it. Whoa! Skyrim secrets uncovered. All right, fine. I'll take the head. A cup dragonborn to death and glory. To death and glory. A cup. Well, none of you have alcohol, so I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what you get. What if I attack one of them? Oh no. Oh no, my game broke. I can't attack. I can't even switch back to first person or scroll. Uh oh. Let me make a save real quick. Hopefully we can fix it. I can't click. Like, I'm trying to click on these and equip them. I can go to my inventory. But I still can't click. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't do this to me now. Whew. All right, we're okay. We're fine. We're completely good. I think it's just something about that area unequipping your weapons, possibly. Which door is it? I don't remember what door we took to get in there. Got it. All right, we're back in Dawnstar. Although we're outside, I don't want to take any risks with the outside timing and whatnot. Okay, dungeon. There's the poor child that we had to save from the dangerous alcohol that was right next to them. Are we at 100 yet? 1, 32, 39, 43... Plus 9, 52, plus 10, 62, plus 31, 62 plus 31 is 92, 93, plus 7, 100. We have exactly 100. We're going to get our points. We're going to collect our points. This is going to tie our number one run so far. Don't. No, no, no. The courier is going to talk to me. Don't. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I have a limited amount of time. Stop. I am the only important courier that exists. Don't talk to me. Jesus, he's going to get me killed. I don't have time to talk about this idiot. Leave me. All right, it's right up here. Wooden door. We're in. At exactly 100 bottles of alcohol. Ma'am. Jana. And uh, Bullruck. Uh, Lurbuck. That's your name. I was kind of close. Close enough, right? I'm sure others have gotten it wrong. Jana, congratulations. I shall now shower you in alcohol. Finally depositing. It feels so good. Take it. Take all of the wine. <laughs> the courier tried to assassinate me right before I scored. No. I accidentally drank one, but I'm not counting it, <laughs> okay? I can have one celebratory drink and it doesn't count against me. Shut up. Have some cabbage too. Fuck it, take the apple pie.
on the board, 175 points. The prediction isn't complete yet. Why is it 175 points? Because if we deliver 100 bottles of alcohol, we get a bonus 75 points for the batch delivery. Now that is what a real party looks like, yeah? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Looks like a frat house. I'll be back with more. My journey's not over yet. You hear me, Lurbuck? Keep the tunes blasting. I'll be back. All right, now if we go back to Whiterun, there's gonna be a lot more delivery locations in Whiterun. We've kind of cleared out most of the Dawnstar doors that we can use. I think that Whiterun is one of the furthest doors over here, but let's just be safe and leapfrog our way over there so we don't end up outdoors and hello. Accidentally finding more? Don't mind if I do. Did I miss these earlier? I must have. Because I remember looting that chest and taking a backpack. Somehow I missed that beer. What's with the points? Rogue Jackal, we can only score points if we deliver ale or wine to an inn or a tavern. Alright, I assume if I run back that way, it takes me to where I came from. We're back in Blackreach, though. Or at least I think one of the Blackreach tunnels. What was the door that we got here from? Might get nervous. A man approaches with his on. There's no door there. Is it down a level? Is it this one? Crap, I don't remember which one we took from Whiterun to get here. No, Paladin, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't ban someone randomly. Was it the mine? It might have been. It's so hard to remember. No, not this one. Not, th or was it? No, not that one. I've been here several times already. Hi, I'm scared. How are you? Good to meet you. How you doing? You're not supposed to be here. I understand. That's not the question I asked you, though. I want to just get to know you. You seem like an all right fella. I don't think it's. I trust you're not planning any trouble. No. Oh. oh, her. <laughs> we've we've met her before. Hey, you don't seem as mad at me. You were more mad at me the time I came here. And didn't do anything, but then ended up hitting you with a sword. Than you are right now after we had that confrontation. All right, Alva, you're all right in my book. I won't kill you. I remember when we got into town, I ran down the street. We saw them kind of congregating out here. I swear it's one of those doors. You're not supposed to be in here. I know I'm not supposed to be in here. But are you holding? Okay, all right, I'm out. I don't want a bounty. I've been in charge of There's an upstairs door to this building. It was through the College of Winterhold at the top right of the tower. Okay. You're right, you're right. It was College of Winterhold, so we have to have a door that takes us back to the college. Is it really not this one? Is there a side door? Staying out of trouble, Kinsman. It's not this one. Just need to make sure I don't run out of time. What about the other mine by the boat? That was the last one we just came out of. <coughs> we went in here, and we ended up in another cave. <sighs> I thought that was a bunch of enemies arming themselves to kill me. Okay, so the cave there takes us here. Okay. 
Yeah, Boy Fosse, you called it. The mine was Savangard. Going to Savangard counts as... Well, I mean, does it count as dying in the main story? Technically not, right? You're like the only living soul to go into Savangard. We haven't gone through this door yet. Oh my gosh, and it's a holy grail. It doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Take those as well because they can help us out. Anyone home? No one's home. Fourteen, fifteen. Oh yeah, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Come on, you gotta have more. I'm dying over here. I'm starving. I'm thirsty. I knew it. The hell am I? Hello? Help! I'm stuck! Okay, we're in the church. Wait, no. You know where we are? I know exactly where we're at. This is the hidden tower in solitude. Yeah, there's a couple of doors in here. This one is locked. I remember we broke through this door before. I probably shouldn't be doing this because it'll make returning difficult. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I just need to like poke my head through so I can see it. But this room, right through here, it's a tower that overlooks solitude. It's one of the highest like points. Y you rarely ever go here. I, I think there's a quest, a uh, Dark Brotherhood quest, where you end up here. There's a kitchen back here. Probably a lot of alcohol if we can find it. Yeah, there's at least one bottle, so it's worth the trip. Ha! Ha ha! -ha! Spiced wine. Ooh, that's a new one. That should be bonus points. I don't have any built-in bonuses for some of the unique bottles of wine and alcohol in the game because there's only, I think, six or seven. There's very few. So let's head back. This takes us to this house. This house, we have to go back through more booze. How did I miss that? So this should take us back... All right, this takes us back to Dawn Guard, but we're going to turn in. We're going to see how many we have and collect our points. Of course, we'll be safe about it because I really don't want to screw this up. If I die because the courier stops me when I have like five seconds left to get indoors, I'll cry. That would be a really funny way for this to end, though. Needs more Sujama? I agree. Everything needs more Sujama. Ever see someone? I'll have to ask you to leave. What problems am I causing? If anything, I, I'm giving you a free Christmas. Or a Saturalia, I think it's called in the Elder Scrolls universe. Look it up. That's a thing. All right, three plus six plus one, 10, 11, 13, 21, 22, 25, 27. Now hold on one second. I need to check my notes for my score. We are at 175 points right now, and I want to say that there's a bonus for turning in 25. But it's on a Word document, and I have to open it, load in, what was it? Okay, 20 beverages delivered at once gives us a 10-point bonus. So we're at 175, which means we're going to take our 10-point bonus, plus, what, what was it again? Uh... What was it? We, we add 10 to however many we're delivering now, and that's the points we get. So 3, 9, 10, 11, 13, 21, 22, 25, 27. So 37 points plus 175. Boom. Delivered. 
points cashed, scoreboard updated, and the believers, if we do have a gamble open, if we have a prediction open, I don't know if anybody did a prediction, have won. 175 plus 37. Let's do the math. Plus 37. 212 points on this current run. 212 points on the current run. We have blown past our record. We have a new record holder. And I have had to do almost no speed lunking. I've just had to take the run seriously for once. And not try to involve myself in combat constantly. Although it is fun. So where to? Where to next? Am I going to have enough time to get to this door in one run? All right, we're good. So let's take that door. Let's jump through here. Oh, that's right. It's this place. But still, this place has a couple of doors. I think it does. Not in there. Should we just go all out? Should we completely reset the challenge now that we've beaten our high score? I say we break through this wall right here because it will force us to just completely gamble. We have to just completely gamble on the mission and see what happens. Because there's a teleport through this way, but if we go back this way... We're probably not returning. Wait, wait, wait. No, that was too easy. Take me back. No, take me back. All right. Okay. This is all right. It is okay. The start of something new is maybe what we need. Plus, spiced wine. Bonus points. At least in my head, it's bonus points. We can probably make our way back, right? We've got platters in here. If we really want to go back, we can. I think we should be okay. Stream buffering. Uh-oh, that's not good. Let me check if it's on my end. I don't I don't have any notifications for uh, frame drops or anything like that. That's all right. It, it's, good, it, it's good that I check every now and then just to be sure. Here we go, we're leaving it up to fate. Please don't be outdoors. Hopefully it's a hub town. We'll leave it up to fate. Okay, they talking about a fishing loading screen? Oh shit, it's outdoors. But wait, we've taken this other door from before. This is just gonna create a time circle. We're back in the college! Oh, are we back? We made it back! We're in the college! <laughs> no way! It's come full circle! The whole journey! We're back! No! Oh, the scene! I'm sorry! The scene! I forgot! I'm sorry! No! I did it! At least I have it recorded! But no, I gotta go back and take you through it because I was fucking crazy! I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. I, I had to go check the uh, stream values, but I'll take you back through it because that was fucking wild. Okay, so we broke through this wall here. Point of no return. I'm really nervous about it. I'm going... Whoo, whoo, whoo. I open it up. First thought in my head is, oh shit, we're in Blackreach. And then I get here and I go, wait a second. We came through before earlier this door. And this door circles us all the way back to the beginning of our journey at the College of Winterhold. Blew my mind. Blew my mind. I'm so sorry I didn't have that up. Oh man, I... Uh, that's a bummer. But holy crap, at least I have it recorded. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. So then one of them... Ben, I don't know, that's a little scary. One of them, probably this door or the other one downstairs, but one of them is going to circle us all the way back 
to Whiterun, where we came from. And when we started in Whiterun... We started right here. And now we're all the way right back at the beginning. Right where we started. All the way back. We find, find I think this is the first time in this entire sort of challenge or all the gameplay I've had with this mod where I found a really good loop that just goes whoop, in a full circle and we did it all in a gimp suit well a gimp uh, mask no kink shaming although that is scary a little bit a bit intense can I tell again how the loop is going uh no we, uh, we proceed. Let's find a new inn. Let's try to make a different delivery to a different inn. We haven't really touched many of the doors in Whiterun. Not supposed to be in here? Well, you're holding out. Not going to warn you again. Get out or I'll call the guards. How do you even know I'm in here if you can't see me? If I'm hiding? Fine, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I've, I've met you before. Brandy Mug? You fall within the rules of you're technically alcohol because your name is alcohol related. So I'm really sorry I have to do this. I, I have no. Oh, God, I wasn't expecting you to be that aggressive. Oh, man, that now I just I just feel bad doing that to someone. No, oh, Brandy, it has to be done like this. Oh my god! <laughs> no, uh, I'm not evil. I swear I'm the good guy. I'm doing this for a good cause. Why does it always have to be Brandy Mug? Why does she always have to suffer the worst fate? I'm so sorry, ma'am. <laughs> It's such an aggressive way to like execute somebody. Whoa, bam! <laughs> I'm so happy her character kind of glitched out and she just like she fell after the first punch because it made it way funnier. That's right. My fists were forged under the flame of whiskey. Two decade-aged barrels held my hands. That's how they've become so hardened. This is a Windhelm house. Ah, Viola Giordano's house. I've been to her place. It's not delivery. It's Viola Giordano. I know she's got a good amount of alcohol, too. Oh, this is exhilarating. Now it finally feels like this run. It's all coming together. We've got the map mapped out. You know, we've... we've. I'm just going to say map again. Um, we're making some progress. It's our highest score. I think we're on the fast track to 500 points. Another one, another one. More potions to just kind of keep me alive if I get in trouble. Fine clothery and goldery. I bet this video is going to get age restricted because I say booze a bunch, and YouTube's AI is going to think I'm saying boobs. And we're like, this video is not for children. Well, I mean, none of them really are made for children. I mean, there's like a whole kid's YouTube, right? Oh my gosh, what is going on? This is out of control. I mean, every single door we go through right now is a complete jackpot. Wine, wine, mead, 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 wine. Wine, wine. Mead. Mead. 
Does anybody know the height and or weight of a mammoth in Skyrim? Let me look it up real quick. Uh, do I have to do my B-reel again on stream? Oh, I do. Chat, can you say hi, be real? I have to I have to post you all again. I just it, I can't control when the app requests me to do it. But we can say hi. <laughs> we'll do this again. The last time I did it, it was really blurry. Perfect, perfect. You guys look great. Awesome. You look amazing. There we go. Beautiful. Oh my god, what is the face I'm making right now? Look at how I'm look at how I'm looking at I'm giving it like a steely-eyed look, like a I I'm not going to retake it. I'm just going to post it. I didn't smile or wave like last time. I was trying to just make sure I held my phone perfectly. I'll say chat says hi. Right, it, it looks like I uh it looks like I was doing my own blue steel. Also, um, I think I missed it, but let me double check. Don't worry. I'm going to make sure to switch the scene over. Okay. Not going to forget it. Uh, baby Nernru, thank you for Sarah sending your stream over. How'd your stream go? Uh, just in case I've missed any other alerts or, or bits or anything, I'll go through the past like hour or so. But Caustic Salsa, thank you for uh, 200 bits. Actually, 300, all those combined. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, CB Visuals, thank you for uh, resubscribing for 10 whole months. Thank you. Boyfosa, thank you for the Prime. Rainbird for a couple of subs and Commercial. All right, that, that's the majority of uh, any of the ones I might have missed recently. I think I got to most of them, though. But, chat, you guys do look great today. You look fantastic. You look handsome. You look confident, which is sexy. But I mean that in like a um, platonic way. More mead. Oh, we've been in here before. This is where they had all the chicken breasts in the kettle, which is a really weird way to kick, cook chicken. All right, back to the outside. Did we try both of these doors? I'll be fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. You don't know what's inside. Careful with... <laughs> I'll... I can... Oh no. Just... If we want to make his pain any easier, Not well. Have a seat and I'll fetch you some I guess we could deliver him some wine. If there was a tonic that could help me. A tonic that could ease your pain? I mean, there's a reason why, you know, in medieval times, if somebody was suffering, they would just be like, hey. Get him some, uh, get him some moonshine. Not a whole lot in here, though. That's the alchemy store in Windhelm, if you're not familiar. Good guys, good group. Couple of hard workers. Uh, you know, they really care about their product and their business. Alright, already been in this house. Check the other door. Ah, that's right, that's right, uh, uh, <laughs> brandy mug. Molded her face like it was clay. <laughs> Sorry. Booze in your name? If so, I shall claim. The, this is the weird glitchy door that's two doors in one. Yeah, one of them takes us outside, we don't like that. We gotta make sure that we hit the door on the left side so we get the right one. Okay, no, it still just wants to send me over there. I disagree. All right, perfect. Why is it doing that? I really have no explanation. Okay, this is the house for the Markarth quest. We've been here. Let's try the lower side of town. 
The commoner district. Peasants. Let's try down here. Is there any booze on the stall? Not sure you should be walking around naked. Not sure you should be such a judgmental douche. You're not supposed to be here. Aha! I have phased through your wall. I come to claim your liquor. This is the last time I'll say it. Hey, hey. Sorry. You wanna rock and roll? I'll rock and roll with you right now. I will rock and roll with you so hard. Like, I want to rock and roll all night. And honestly, party every day. You won't get away with that. Get your thieving hands off that. <laughs> it gets funnier the more angry he gets. Stop, thief! No. Why would I? I have no incentive to stop. Empty wine bottle. How dare you? Empty wine- another empty wine bottle, by your bedside, no less. Are you drinking away from the party? For shame, San. Stop, thief! You thieving little elf. Hey, hey. Watch your language. Alright, wait, elf? I'm a Nord! How do you get that wrong? Oh, it's because I'm wearing the mask. That's right. It's because I'm covering it up. He can't tell. <laughs> he can't tell if I'm an elf or not. All right, all right, fair. I deceived you. You're not oh, yeah. Okay. All right, good. We just, we don't, we want to make sure we don't wake her up. Zarya? The people of Skyrim are very deep sleepers. Even if she wakes up, she won't be able to see us. Just have to make sure that we're covered. Our mission is more important than her counting sheep. Stop it. Just rest yourself. Rest easy, Zaria. What I am doing is more important than your business thriving. The amount of stolen potions I have now at this point is getting out of hand. Shouldn't have a whole lot. Some potions. Couple of wine bottles. Not too bad. Not great either. Ooh. I'm so dead if I hang out here for a while. But I kind of like exploring them. Oh, I've been here. This one's actually just a dead end. It's one of the elevators for Blackreach, but I think it's later in the Black Reach arc of the game. Well so technically the door isn't open yet. Is this that same tower? Uh oh. Frost flow abyss. All right, the door worked. I was I was nervous that the door would be one of those where it sends me somewhere else. Jackpot again. Nord mead, alto wine, 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 mead. Not a whole lot in here, actually. Okay, no jackpot. I rescind my jackpot comment. That's just a pot. It's like a nine of clubs pot, not a jackpot. Low level dungeon? 
Okay, there's a bandit chief in here. Oh, wow, speak of the devil. Time to end this little game. Bad idea. Good enough. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wait, where am I? Why am I back here? Was my mission successful? <laughs> Did I save the world? I knew it. I was born for it. At least I beat my previous record on this run. What a stupid way. God, I lose my runs in the dumbest fucking way possible. What, it was, what was I thinking? Why? What is wrong with me? Gosh, yeah, at least I ended up here. At least I ended up at the nonstop party. Wait a minute. Do I have? I do. I have all of my alcohol. Finally, I can save this lame ass party. Finally, here, take all the alcohol you want. It's about time we have this real party. Look at them go. Look, look, they're having so much fun. Look at them all partying. Isn't this out of control? Every See, she's already had too much to drink. She's got to get off the table and leave. Next round, we should check the Hall of the Dead door in White Run. We, we checked it on uh, the first run, I think. Just like any other door. Uh, what are you doing? You're throwing the plates around. You're going to ruin the party. Look, look, there's a wine bottle right in front of you. Grab it. Why are you drinking out of a cup? Just drink out of the bottle like a real Nord. Well, that was an interesting and stupid challenge. I think we've kind of taken this play style, though, really as far as it'll take us, especially if we're going to do permadeath. It was perfect, though, to die in really stupid ways each time. Give me one sec here. Say hi to Bingus. Hello, Bingus. I'm just going to blame the courier for getting me killed there. That was his fault. All on the courier. Fuck the courier. Boo. Boo, courier. Um, but I think for this, I think for this randomizer challenge, I think I'm okay with where we're at. Uh, we, we have to get rid of James Corden. He's got to get fired again. He was rehired as just, it, we were trying to increase ratings and we figured using his face and controversy might have, you know, helped out the show. But, you know, if anything, he's just made it worse. He's, he's annoying. He's, he's problematic. Every time chat sees him, there's a visceral reaction of disgust. We're going to have to fire him very soon here because we haven't done the battle royale of, of hosts in a while. Uh, if you guys can stick around for a few, we're going to raid out. Let's let me put out a poll. Let me put out a poll. All right, we'll do a quick poll. Really quick poll. Morrowind, Oblivion, or Skyrim, which category will we raid out to? Chat's choice. I'm going to vote Morrowind. Don't let that affect your vote, though. But it looked like Morrowind was winning, so I'm going to vote for it. 
I appreciate everybody. Though. That was a great stream. This challenge was really, really fun. I wanted to jump into something that sounded really exciting um, because it was a bummer to kind of agree with Isaac, my editor, the other night that the Glowing Sea finale was turning out terribly and we want to do it justice. We want it to be as good as it can possibly be. So this was a really good pick me up and I appreciate everybody having such good energy and, and being so kind and so generous throughout the last two streams. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you all. Uh, Cause it was disappointing to say the least to be like, this is turning out pretty bad. We got to rework it. All right. Morrowind wins. All right. We're going to rate a Morrowind streamer right now. Let's see who's playing it. There are not a lot of people streaming Morrowind. Um. Only a couple, so I'm going to send you over to Georgia with four A's. Remember to be kind. Be nice. Don't be assholes. If you're annoying and super cringe, I will know. Because we can you can share ban lists on Twitch. It's fairly easy to. So don't be idiots. All right. Remember to be respectful, uh, as, you know, especially if they're super, you know, new to streaming or if they're early on. Be nice and don't 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 backseat them like crazy. Let them experience the game if it's their first time playing. All right. That being said, everybody enjoy New Year's. Happy New Year. Thank you all very much. We'll have these two streams up on the VOD channel very soon. And hopefully we have a video of this dumb challenge slash experience up soon. I appreciate everyone. We'll talk soon.